Today we're attending a sausage party full of mystery meat. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now, we love merry old England, our country's dad. Yeah. Which is why we're still getting over our hangover from the royal wedding this summer. But frankly, we have questions. Why do you call fries chips? And why do you call chips crisps? And why would you name a place cat holes? Well, as far as I'm concerned, they're the ones who came up with beans on toast so they can have all the cat holes they want. Okay, there you go, have them. Today we're gonna put our knowledge of the royal family to the test while eating sausage, which is one of the Brits' favorite foods. It's time for, will these royal sausages make us scream? Or will we say, yas queen? And we got a wheel full of sausages because British people eat sausages. So do Americans and Germans and lots of other countries, but this isn't about them. No. Now some of these are normal, good bangers, some of them are weird, unpleasant bangers, and some of them are just disgusting bangers that Josh made to hurt us. And as you can see, each sausage has a number associated with it, and the worse the sausage is, the more points it is worth. So one could be a tasty sausage, oh. but a 10 is the worst. That's a pun. Uh, this floppy it. white sausage here is not one that I want to eat. We're gonna take turns spinning the wheel, and then the spinner has to answer a question about the royal family. If the person gets it right, they get points, and the other person has to eat the banger. Mm -hmm. If you get it wrong, you get no points, and you have to eat the sausage. Uh -oh. uh, let's do it. Round one. You're less short than me, so you spin first. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Whoa, sausage. Oh, <laughs> 10! No, right off the bat! No. What? The floppy white sausage! Oh, there's a lot at stake here because if I get it right, you guys to eat it. I know. And I get 10 points. Gosh. Okay, I've got a question for you that is royal themed, Rhett. Get ready, Meghan Markle, because being a royal is a very serious affair. Mm. Even when it comes to the games they play, what form of family fun is the royal family not allowed to play. Not allowed to play. Is it A, video games? B, Monopoly? C, darts? Or D, hide the salami? <laughs> Can you describe D? I don't, what is it? Uh, it's a, it's ch I'll take your word for uh, it. Children's game involving salami. Okay. No. Oh my gosh. Uh, Monopoly, darts, or video games? Mm -hmm. Or hide the salami. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, this is, uh, I don't, I It's the floppiest one. I don't feel good, man. It, darts feels like a very like royal thing, but it also feels like the kind of thing that there's like a story about Count Chocula. <laughs> <laughs> we know so much about the royal family. Who was once, we resort to the Muppets. Who was once struck with a dart in the ear. It's forbidden. Uh, video games is so unbecoming of a royal, though. You don't want to be caught playing video games. Oh, gosh! I need an answer, Rhett. Darts. Prince Andrew claims the family is not allowed to play Monopoly no! because it gets too vicious. Uh. Speaking of vicious, this is a 10 pointer. Uh, you don't get any points, neither do I, but I get the pleasure of watching you eat that floppy white sausage. And I'm not gonna know. Dang it. Oh, it's so cold. I'm not gonna know what it is until I've. Oh, there was a lot hidden down in that birthday cake. Now we're agreeing it's just a bite, right? Because. I, and that. The, the balloon in there, I would, I would, I would go with biting the middle. No. I would bite the side. Well, that, you can wait till your, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a whole, that's like eating the end of a balloon, dude. Yeah, but I don't want it to just go all over me. I don't know what it is. What's it taste like? Whoa. No, don't spit it out. <laughs> Eat it, man. <laughs> what, what is it? Uh, don't. <laughs> what, is, what is it? Rhett, do you know what it is? Ah! Uh, is that fish sperm? I mean, it's fish guts. Oh, yeah. fish guts! Fish guts! Ah! Water, please! Round two. Okay, time for me to spin. 
Yeah. Whoop. Five fives. Okay. Middle of the road. All right. Normal people have a hard time deciding what to pack, but for a royal, it's already figured out for them. What item must members of the royal family always pack when they travel? A, a black outfit. B, a Bible. C, a knife. Or D, a litter of corgis. A whole litter of corgis. Litter of corgis. <laughs> um, I don't think it's a knife because it, you know it's hard to travel with a knife, mm -hmm. even if you're royalty. No, oh, okay. Especially if you're royalty. Okay. Trust me. Got it. Black dress. I don't know. I I'm feeling the Bible. You I'm know. Feeling the Bible these days. I think it's the Bible. Your guess is the Bible. Royals must always be prepared with a. Black mm. outfit in case somebody dies when they're abroad and they must attend a funeral. In case somebody dies? Yeah, you gotta be ready for death. <laughs> okay. Eat that sausage, Link. I mean, hey, sausage, Link. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably gonna be uh, not, not good, but not bad. No, it's it smells minty. Okay, we'll find out how it tastes. What is it? Toothpaste? It's toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. You can see the scale that we've established here. Five is already toothpaste sausage. Oh, uh, that is bad. Uh, mm. You might got a toothbrush? Round three. Give it a spin. Oh. Ooh, almost an eight, but you got a six. 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 A little nastier than the five. Ask me the question. Royal etiquette dictates that a married woman in the royal family who is attending an indoor affair must do what exactly at 6 p.m.? What? Is it A, lead a toast to the queen? B, take off her hat and put on a tiara? T tiara? How do you say that? Tiara? Yeah, Tyra. <laughs> tiara. Tyra. Tiara? No, it's Tyra, I'm sure. <laughs> t t tiara. Tiara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from North Carolina. Tiara is if it's your name. Tiara is if it's on your head. C, remain directly at her husband's side for the rest of the affair. Or D, ovulate. <laughs> <laughs> the old 6 p.m. ovulation. Ding! Right on the dot. Yes. The royal family is on a very quick cycle, though. It's not a 28-day cycle for them. Because <laughs> of the, the blue blood. Gotta churn out those royalty. Yep, yep. Toast doesn't make sense because that could be inappropriate. And then what, do all the women stand up and toast at 6 p.m.? <laughs> that won't work. The tiara or the tiara, it's not a pageant. Life is a pageant. I'm gonna go with, you gotta be next to your husband at 6 p.m. There are a whole bunch of weird rules regarding tiaras, and at 6 p.m., ladies are expected to change into evening wear, at which point hats come off and tiaras go on. <laughs> so, Rhett. Why y'all gotta have stupid rules? <laughs> you need to eat the eight, my friend. No, I'm eating the six, because okay. that's where it was. I can't slide one past you, go for it. I know it's gonna be at least as bad as toothpaste. <sighs> it looks greasy. Very white. Doesn't taste like food. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey? It tastes like something that goes on your body like soap. Ye close. Shampoo. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'll finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Round four. Spinny, 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 spinny. Tickety, 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 tick, tick. Wham! Oh! oh! Seven almost got a two! Right on the seven. But I got this big old seven. Okay, here we go. This is a big freaking ho Oh, it's a thicky. It's, yeah, it's a stubby. <laughs> Historically, the king's most trusted courtier was whom? A, the groom of the stool, the man who helped him poop. B, what? the- What? Ho, oh, what? The groom of the stool, the man who helped him poop. B, the moonlight valet, the man who watched him sleep. C, the grape steward, the man who tasted his wine. Or D, the dark knight, the man who was Batman. 
What, what's the question again? <laughs> the king's most trusted, most trusted courtier? Is that, I don't know what the, I, I You just, gotta trust someone courtier. if they- Courtier. Courtier? This ain't France, it's England. <laughs> I mean, you really trust someone if they're there when you poop. Mm, yeah. You know? <laughs> like the way you think. <laughs> but the drinking of the wine makes so much sense because that keeps them, you know, if keeling over with poison. Yeah. You gotta keep the royalty <laughs> alive. Right. So I'm gonna go with the, the wine taster, the most trusted. Okay, the wine taster. The man who's responsible for assisting the king in his excretions and ablutions, the groom of the stool. Doesn't do it anymore because uh, now uh, they've grown out of that. <laughs> <laughs> they've, moved, they've moved beyond that. So once again, no points for either of us, man. But you know what, you get the fun of eating that sausage, that's a seven. Yeah, smell that, it. That, it smells uh, oh, meaty. Yeah. <laughs> this is for you, Britain. Oh, it's tough. Oh, gotta bite it twice. <coughs> the sauces that bit back. <coughs> okay. It doesn't taste familiar? Dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Is it dog food? It's dog food. Ah. <coughs> While Ling is enjoying his dog food, <laughs> I'll let you know that we both have zero points, so we're gonna move on to a special <laughs> bonus round to find a winner that we're calling the Speedy Sausage Eating Chow Crown Showdown, paid for by Hasbro. To continue with the royal theme, our bonus round features Hasbro's new game, Chow Crown. Now here's how the actual game works. You place the crown on your head, clip in some snacks, and press start. The crown will move and you have to eat as much as you can before the music stops. Now we are gonna be playing the game a little bit differently though. Yes, these crowns have been filled with many sausages. And uh, all of the sausages are laced with a British favorite, Marmite. So they will not be easy to get down. And because we did not get any points so far, yeah. we're gonna make each of these sausages worth 10,000 points. Woo, points! Yeah. And whoever has the most points at the end of this bonus round wins a chow crown filled with his favorite food, and the loser has to eat the worst sausage that we left on the spinny board. In Good Mythical More. All right, you guys ready? Well, let's find our start buttons On here. your marks. Yep. Get set. Go! Oh. 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 Where is it? Where is it going? Uh. There we go. Uh. 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 Come on! Come to Papa! I deserve a minute! So hard to... I... <laughs> Mm. Okay. Oh! I got two sauces. You got two? Yeah, bro. I got two. I only got one. Yeah. All hail the king. I shall now eat my prize. And I'll eat the nastiest sausage in Good Mythical More. Now, Chow Crown is available in stores now, or you can buy it online by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks to Hasbro for sponsoring this episode. Those beans look good. Can I have some? No. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi. We're the Youngs, and we just did a sausage taste test. And now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality! No, put the sausages down! <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> Click the top link to watch Link eat gross sausages! And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land... Need to send a card but don't know what to say? The BYMB greeting card says it best. Buy it now at mythical.store.